Well, social media can be quite a challenge for small business owners who might struggle to learn where and what to post. Well, Lauren Kelly is with us now this morning. She's the founder of That Random Agency in Troy, and she's a social media guru. And Lauren, thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. So first off, tell us what That Random Agency is all about. Of course. So we're a boutique agency really focused on small and medium sized businesses. We help them, you know, leverage social media as well as podcasting to help them grow their companies. And really our philosophy is that social media should support all of your business objectives and to really drive business forward for you. I mean, social media is so important. And when you when you're running a small business, there's so many things that you know you have to take care of and you have to manage and do. And social media yeah. can really just be a big headache for that. What are some of the biggest mistakes that you see most often when posting to social media? It's a great question. So there are three main mistakes that I'd say we see quite often. The first one would really be about messaging. So a lot of small businesses make the mistake of talking about ourselves too much. So it's great. You need to talk about your product or your service that you're offering. But if you're only talking to yourself and not really asking questions or engaging with people on social media, you can quickly lose the interest of the, those who follow you. Uh, so you don't want it to be an echo chamber of you talking to yourself. You really want to try to engage your target audience. That's great advice. And and how often do you recommend posting too? Because sometimes too much, then it just doesn't reach as far, it seems like, and then too little. Yeah. You're not getting your word out there either. Yeah, so I would say it depends on the platform, but a general rule, you know, look at two to three times per week if you're just getting started on posting to social media. Um, if you have Instagram stories, you really wanna look at posting every day if you can, or as often as possible. People are spending a lot of time watching stories, watching videos on stories. And it's also less pressure, I would say, for most businesses to share on stories because it doesn't have to be as formal. You can show behind the scenes, a little more of your personality. That's a great trick that I recommend. Well, you can do stories, you can do pictures, you can do video. What, what types of posts do you think gets the most attention? Video content, for sure. All of the platforms across the board are, pr are prioritizing video. Uh, even if you think about the amount of time people spend on YouTube watching content, it makes sense that they're going in that direction. Uh, and video content can be recorded on your phone, vertical, or longer form video. Really, all types are you know popular right now. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen like TikTok is on the rise with those short, fun videos, uh, and Instagram Reels is very similar, you know, vertical content. So it's it's a good opportunity to be creative and tell your story a little bit. Do you have a personal favor or, or something that you find that works a platform, a personal favorite platform that that works best for? for businesses? I would say Facebook and Instagram are my number one for businesses, especially if you're first starting off. It definitely depends on your target audience. If you have a younger you know, audience, TikTok might be an option for you. If you're more B2B, then LinkedIn could be a, you know, the best platform. Uh, it really depends, but Facebook and Instagram offer the best um, targeting options if you want to invest in paid social. Well, we've made it this far. We haven't mentioned the word algorithm. So I need to mention the word algorithm. Sometimes I post something and I'm like, wait a second, why did that one seem like it reached nobody, but this other one reaches uh, way more people? Are there algorithm changes that you've seen lately? Oh yeah, so the algorithm I would say changes constantly, but most recently, especially on Instagram, that's the one where the algorithm conversation comes up the most. Uh, and lately for all of our clients, we've seen carousel posts. So the galleries, if you've seen when you scroll, you can swipe and view multiple pieces of content that those posts are prioritized in the algorithm as well as Instagram reels. That's a lot of great information, Lauren. Thanks for uh, all your info this morning. Where can people find more information uh, about your agency? Of course, you can visit our website, thatrandomagency.com, or follow us on Instagram, thatrandomagency. All right, Lauren Kelly with That Random Agency. Thanks for being with us.